Lead campaign for Simon Ekpa's extradition. Bishop Onoha tells Tinubu government. He said Simon Ekpa, a Nigerian born resident of Finland, has been using his remotely controlled Monday seat at home to incite unrest in the Southeast for years. According to estimates, the Southeast losses at least 9 billion naira a week as a result of all commercial and governmental activity season on Mondays. This is especially true in part of Enugu, where Governor Peter Mba is leading the effort to put an end to the problem of people staying at home. Though on bread propaganda, many youth have been wrongly made to believe that Simon Ekpa is a Biafra hero and through his directive to a, a four seat at home, many lives have been lost, including those of security operatives. Many police barracks have been set ablaze across the state in the zone and sitting at home become a, a new normal at a time, the bishop said. Ekpa who is from Awuku in in a bowling state was an athlete and he was he even won a model a model for nigeria at an international competition in the 2003 african junior athletics championship held in cameroon simon was the silver model in the triple jump he moved to finland in 2007 to seek treatment and surgery for his knee injury and from there he, be he began the life that has been causing insecurity in his home country. Surprisingly, Simon Ekpa has continued to influence gullible youth and undermine the social economic activities of the people of Southeast, even when the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo Mazi Nandikano, had publicly disassociated the pro Biafra group from the continued seats at home. The question being asked is why had Simon Ekpa continued to terrorize Nigeria from, from Finland despite the existence of a diplomatic relationship between the two countries? Nigerian's chief of defense staff, General Christopher Musa, some time ago accused Finland of shading Simon Ekpa and demanded his arrest and prosecution. So what is the federal government of Nigeria doing? Bishop Onoa asked again. The CDS also called on the Nigerian government to take decisive action, including exploring diplomatic options to curb the menace of the functional leader of the IPOP, who has declared himself the prime minister of the Biafran government in Ezai. In the words of the CDS, we have repeatedly complained about the issue of Simon Ekba. He is in Finland and the Finnish government is giving him all the support and he is doing what he's doing. The comments he, he is making, people are being killed and nothing is being done. This is democracy. If the European Union is supporting democracy and this is happening and they are not taking action, they, they don't mean well for Nigeria. For years, the people of the Southeast have been losing millions of Naira weekly. So thanks to Simon Ekwa, though many people tried to disobey it, they were either harassed, shot, or killed. The result is that the entire Southeast remained a ghost region every Monday until recently when the present leadership in some of the state began to call the bluff of Simon Epa. For instance, when Mr. Peter Mba assumed office as the governor of Enugu State last year, he blamed the seat at home so as to revive the economy of the state. Initially, his efforts were met with resistance as some people insisted on the continued Monday seat at home. He even threatening business owners that they stood the risk of forfeiting their businesses if they continued to shut their businesses on Mondays. And later, he carried out the threat 
by selling some business six outfits that were closed on Monday when they were supposed to be open. Those whose businesses were sold would be made to pay fines before they could reopen their businesses. Wondering how the man could hold the entire Igbo nation to ransom, Governor Mba said his administration was considering dragging Ekba and all the instigators of the illegal sit-at-home -to, to the International Court of Justice at the huge. He described Simon Ekba as a scammer who has been feeding fat on the emotions of Igbo people and wondered why he would not be extradited to come and fake the law in Nigeria. Bishop Onora wondered if Nigeria has any diplomatic relations with the Finnish government, also suggested that the engagement of those who have the ear of Ekbar for a possible trace between him and the government. The cleric said again, I am just wondering how our international diplomacy operates. What relationship has Nigeria with Finland? A matter of this nature is a state and international issue. I think the federal government should go into discussions with Finland to determine what to do with EPA. But the truth is that it is not a minor issue. The federal government should go into conversation with Finland. Again, who are the friends of EPA? he asked. Does he not have friends? Who are those that listen to him and those he can listen to? I think at this level, we should begin to look for those who he has confidence in and bring them to the table for conversation. This is uh, coming from Bishop Onoha. So guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you and bye for now.